Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna continue working on part 7 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we started with level 2. And then we added doors, walls, and even the faucet. Now we're gonna continue working on this by adding more furniture. So let's go to insert and then load family and then let's go back to the main and then go to furniture uh, let's add in the beds so that we could see where we're gonna place all the windows so i'm gonna click on the bed box so let's click on the bed box click open and then once it's loaded you can type in cm and then let's change this to queen and then here we can add in the bed i want the bed to be like here and then here for the other bed we could add it here and we could add the other one as well here for the other bed actually i think it's better if we put it on this side we could have the view we could also have the entertainment system here but it's actually weird so i think this is the good spot because we could still use this for other reasons and uh, of course the if we put the bed facing this one or oriented this way we could also add in um what do you call this windows here and then actually i want to add the bed on this side because we're gonna add a window right here so i'm just gonna add the bed for now like that and then we're gonna delete the others later so I'm going to give this one some space like this and then let's delete this and delete this part we're gonna have this corner glass on each side and we're going to have a nice design from that so i'm just going to use a line to align everything so that it's it's flush from the wall and then here we could have um a space for like a computer um, table here and then we have all here in terms of this one we can also face it on this side but it's actually very small on that one so i think it's a lot big now so we could just stick it with that in terms of this part we could actually change this to 1000 and then just move this one a bit so I'm, I'm just giving this a lot of space because it's a walk-in closet anyway so i just want to give this so we're just um, adjusting our design so at, at least it's a lot bigger we have everything like this and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click the close inactive views i'm gonna leave level two and then level one and this is a trick that i do where i go to 
annotate i know i go to view and then click title views it will have two screens now from level one and level two and because i already have the nightstand loaded i wanted to place it on the level two so the easiest way is doing this and then now clicking on the nightstand i could type in cs and once you do you need to click here and as you can see we have our nightstand loaded as well so it's a fast way of loading anything that you already have so let's add it here and then on the other side and then here as well and on this side then i'm gonna press escape twice and then click on the lamp table lamp cs type and then now go here and then you can just add it as well and it will have the same uh changes that you did so we changed the elevation for that and as you can see it maintains those um, parameters i know we have this one added here it's not being shown because of this but we're going to extend that later so that we're seeing everything so press escape let's clean this up i'm just going to leave it like this for now but you want to make sure to clean up your drawing so that once we're done or we're ready so as you can see we just need to add it here and then it's easy to type in cs so create similar is a very powerful um, program or um, command let's extend this more because i'm seeing that this is up to here and extend this as well now i'm also going to add the sink so that i don't need to look for it so cs on that and then i'm going to add it on this side i'm going to add two of them and then on this side we're going to add it perpendicular to that and then we have the toilet so we just need to add in the tub later on here we click this one so i'm just cleaning it up and we put the tub there here let's add the toilet right here and this spot and then now we already have the line so we could just type in cs and add that those lines there okay I'm going to create a door similar to this but very small so I just need to add to see the distance so around 400 or 300 for some linen storage um, I just want to double check so I'm checking the level one before we close it if we added everything that we wanted to um, on this so we could click on the TV and add the TV as well here 
So I'm adding the TV and placing it here, even though this will be all glass. That will be fine. Here we could add something here. And let's add in some sofa as well. Let's add the same sofa. And we could add it like that. We could add some storage as well. And I think that's about it with this part. Maybe we could add a coffee table as well here. And I believe that's it for this. So we could close level one now and concentrate on level two. Uh, we added everything anyway, so. So now let's finish off the part where we have our, our toilet. So now what we could do is we could go to insert load family and then go back to the main and then we have furniture no not furniture plumbing so go to plumbing architecture fixtures and then we have bathtub let's add the 2d only so cm and then load it there and then we could just flip it on this side so that's proper and then we could just extend this one so that there's spacing involved let's load more but instead of this bathtub we could add in the shower and then the shower we could add it here but we could extend the size so let's check the dimension click on tab so that you will get the get this one the face so 1190 and then let's get this one and this face 1190 and 1900 so let's edit this, duplicate, 1190, and then 1900. Click OK, and then now we just need to flip it or rotate it. Let's rotate it 90 degrees, and then grab it from the corner. So MV to move. There we go. We have showing the shower area. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to. So for the table here, what I'm planning to just add is a line to represent because it's probably a custom table to fit the space. And then we could probably add a TV to represent the, the monitor. So let's add a TV right there. And then we could add in some chair. So we're basically adding those just to represent. So here we could change this because this is too big. Let's change this to something small, something like that, and put it somewhere in the middle there. So we have this finalized. And then let's add in some specialty equipment. Let's go to main and then specialty equipment domestic high range and we have the dryer combo washer dryer combo and then cm and 
and then here I don't want the label so I go to edit and then uncheck that and then we have our laundry right here let's add in some furniture um, I said I'm planning to add some storages so go to storage we have some shelvings right here and then we could add it on this spot so I'm just gonna add two of them okay so I'm good with that So I'm good with that. So let's add into the, the seating because we're already in the furniture. So let's go to seating and let's add this same thing. So CM. So we already added the chair. So I'm just, I'm actually. this one the chair executive cm and then we have the chair there so i'm just checking what we've done i'm double checking everything so it looks like it's good so i'm happy with what we've done so now, so before we finish up here, let's add in the floor. I know I haven't uh, added the floor for the level one. So let's finish the level two first and let's add the level one as well. So what I do now is go to architecture, click on floor, and then let's use generic floor 400, edit that. And then we could duplicate floor number one. And then here, let's change this to 200. And then for the material, let's change this to, I want something wood. Let's use one of this. Apply OK and then OK. Now we're going to pick the line from the inside because we don't want to see the floor from the exterior part. So I'm just going around the perimeter using the pick line. And then obviously we're going to need to clean it up afterwards. So now let's clean up. Want to make sure that everything is clean like that. And if you miss something, it will tell you anyway, so it's not a big deal. And then we're going to create an opening on this spot for the stairs. So how you do it is, I'm going to do it like that. And then like this. Now just click finish. And then we have our floor. Um, we shouldn't forget to add. Give me a second. We shouldn't add or forget to add our railing. And we have, I think, glass. And then let's add it here. And then click finish. So we have our glass situated there. 
So I'm happy with that. So now, um, what you should do, so sp sp especially for this kind of stuff is uh, for floors, you will always need to change the one for the bathroom. So in instead of leaving this open like um, what you usually do before, um, the proper way is to just uh, click click to modify and then we need to split face so we're going to click on the floor to split face that after that you're in this split face grayed out area and what you can do is you can split face so basically I want to change this material to a different material so I want this one to be changed so that's what you're telling Revit to do so click finish and what you do uh, this one can be changed to a different materials by using paint so you need to click paint and then once paint is open um, the proper uh, materials for you to add is some tiles so ceramic tiles we already use ceramic tiles probably so let's add in maybe vinyl and then you're done with that if we double check it and make it consistent color or shaded as you can see this is it's not that visible here but let's uh, change it to realistic and you will see we have wood and then we have this so now we need to do the same on this side so similar to what we did earlier let's click on split face and then select the floor first and then now let's divide that floor and I'm only doing it on the perimeter again and we need to clean up and then once you click finish So here there is something that is yes because we are in the edge so you don't need to add in the edge as you can see the yellow line the very su subtle yellow um, per, um, edge is something that you don't need to add the line so that um, warning is saying that so in the edge if you're for example doing this this part will be changed you just need to add a line like this not on this side so now once we click this we'll be able to change this part only because this is already on the edge so now um, go to paint again um, let's use textile slate blue and then now it's changed we can double check that with realistic and we have different um, floors from different um, areas and this one is the the one for the stairs so actually if you're if you want you could change this part or this bedroom or this bedroom so that applies to walls as well so let's put it back to hidden line and thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below